Welcome everybody to another great episode of Gonzales Science. I'm your host again, Gonzales, or Mr. Gonzales, to some of you. So last time we did the Valentine's Day experiment and there's been such an outpouring, there's been such support over this channel that I figured, hey, you know what? Let's give you guys what you want and let's produce more content, uh, more science experiments, uh, more things like that. I've even got some plans for some possible interviews and things like that with other people that you might know. So with that being said, keep pushing this channel out. Right now we've got about 281 subscriptions. Let's get to 500 to 1,000. Keep pushing this out. Keep letting your friends know, whoever else. You don't have to be your stu my student to be a part of this. This is for everybody. This is bigger than just my students. This is making science fun and science taking over everybody that wants to be a part of this. So science is just literally taking over and we're getting subscription after subscription after subscription. Let's keep it going. I want us to get to 1,000. Let's make this thing really big where this science becomes this huge movement where everybody just loves science because I know that you love science. <laughs> All right, so let me show you now the experiment that I have today. Considering that March is right around the corner, St. Patrick's Day, all that stuff, spring, I figured what better way to celebrate that than with St. Patrick's Day snow. So many of you have done this experiment before. So what this is, is it's called a polymer, okay? This stuff right here, let me zoom in on the camera. This right here is a polymer. It's called Insta Snow. I've used this probably six or seven years it's great. Uh, in Japan, they actually use this as artificial snow for people to ski. There's actually a funny story of someone that accidentally dropped this on their their grass. And during the summer, or during the winter time, they wanted this fake snow in front of their house, right? So when springtime came, it all went away. And then when it rained again in the winter, all of it was left inside of the dirt and it started to grow again into the snow. And you'll see what I mean by grow again into the snow once I show you. So let's get this thing started. So first things first, we've got our powder, we've got our beakers, we've got 60 milliliters of water. So check it out, here we go. I'm just gonna take this 60 milliliters of water, I'm gonna pour it inside of the beaker and watch this, this is, this is beautiful. There you go. We wait a second for this. Check it out. Let me try to zoom this in a little bit more right here so you can watch this beautiful snow just start to form. Look at it suck all the water, all that 60 milliliters of water, and it's just literally just growing and erupting. It's wonderful. There it is. And it's, it, it's just great. So it's just, it's just artificial snow. Uh, many students have felt this before. It's great stuff. Now, that's not the only thing that's great. But you know what's great is you can change the color of the snow. It doesn't have to be white. Who says the snow's white? Not me. So check it out. I've actually put green food coloring inside this 60 milliliters of water because you know what? It's March right away in a few weeks and I want St. Patrick's Day snow. Here we go. Pour it all in there. Put it right there so you can see it. Check this out again. Look at, look at, look at right here. Wow. Do you guys see that that is incredible? It is just, just erupting with some beautiful snow. Wow. So again, it's a polymer. It's similar to what's in a baby's diaper, but it's not the same because this is erupting. This snow is sucking all the water. So if you can explain to me on the comment section, number one, what's a polymer? Not gonna tell you. Number two, what happens to the snow if we just leave it out? Is it gonna stay snow? Number three, is this a physical or chemical reaction? You should know that. Now let me show you even the snow at a better angle here. I'm just gonna pour all this wonderful snow inside of here. Wow, look at this, it's beautiful. Wow, look at that, look at that. Isn't that, is this, you know, look at that. Green snow, white snow, it's beautiful. So it literally feels like snow. Let me, took my hand right here so you can just see that. That is wonderful, good stuff. So, that's the experiment for the day. Uh, again, I love the support that you're giving Gonzales Science. Uh, 
I really appreciate it. I want us to continue to move forward to start this movement of science where people just love science more and they excel at it and they see these cool experiments because the more passionate, the more committed I see that people want this content, I'm gonna keep producing the content if that's what they want. But if people don't want the science content, then I wouldn't. But I can see that you guys are passionate about science. You know that I am. So make sure we get more subscribers, more people zoomed in on this, watching, seeing these cool experiments. Now, a few shout outs. Isaac, thank you. He helped me out with a tripod stand, so I appreciate that, Isaac. Thank you so much. Karen and Alondra, thanks again for your help with subscribers and support. Anybody else like Kishan, thanks again. Appreciate you. If you'd like to have a shout out, again, we'll see. There are plenty of episodes. There are plenty of shout outs waiting to come. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Answer that question again at the end. There's three questions. Number one, physical or chemical reaction. Number two, will it always remain as snow? Number three, what will happen to this snow, will it, will it stay there? Or what will, what will happen to it once you leave it out? So again, answer those three questions in the comments section. Keep the comments appropriate again. We don't want anything that is unkind or inappropriate. I'll see you again on Gonzalez Science. Have a great rest of the day, everybody.